Yay, we have this amazing promo coming up, but how can we make use of it in an effective way and one that's going to feel good and that's actually not going to contribute to us feeling like a, a headless chicken on the promo days themselves. Okay, so this is what this is going to be all about. Hello and welcome. I'm excited you're here. In case you haven't met before, my name is Katrine from bloomwithkatrine.com and I'm coming live today to you from out and about as you can see I'm in Austria today I'm back at work um, and I hope that you're not shy okay do say hi let me know where you're tuning in from so I can circle back around and say hi to you in a second looking forward to be able to do this because I, I love helping serious networkers like yourself um, create traction leverage and um, and a flow really in your business through modern social me media strategies and I mean, promos are huge, right? Let me know how many promos you've gone through this year. <laughs> um, I could put like a number of like four or five already on it, right? In the company that I'm associated with. And there's like, there's these evergreen promos that come around every year, like there's Black Friday, there's Christmas, there's Mother's Day, right? And there might also be some product launches. So whichever promo is coming up for you at the timing of this recording, it is Black Friday, it's going to be happening in two weeks and you don't want to wait until Black Friday to really participate in that promo, okay? You want to start right now and I'm going to give you a strategy how to do that effectively. But you can use this also, you know, as we're moving towards Christmas, as you're moving towards Mother's Day, as you're moving towards the next product launch. Make sense? Drop me a heart if it does and let's jump on in, okay? Because and I'm going to tell you a crazy story about how promos used to be for me before I found the strategy, okay? And I actually learned it in a mastermind community that I'm happy to introduce you to. If you want that, um, drop mastermind down below or I'm also going to be um, sharing tonight when I'm home. I'm going to um, put the link to that community in for you as well. So you can go check it out. So, but here's what happened to me when there was a promo, okay? I thought I, can't, I could, couldn't do anything because I didn't know what the promo was. Let me, drop me a heart if you can relate to that, right? Ah, I, I, how can I promote something? I don't know what the thing is going to be. So, this is going to be really gold for you, okay? So, what happened to me is I would wait until the morning of Black Friday, until my company would issue, you know, whatever the promo is going to be. And then I would go crazy, right? I would get my phone, I would start messaging, I would start emailing, I would start doing all the things, pure excitement, truly coming from a place of this is so awesome. But <laughs> I would start messaging, I don't know how many people, and I could never know whether these people would actually appreciate the information because I hadn't qualified them. I didn't know whether the message I was going to send was going to be effective, was going to put a smile on somebody's face and go, oh, no, another one, right? <laughs> Let me know whether you have made that same experience because I was there and it's not a pleasurable experience, not for me in any case, right? Um, thing is, if you're not very consistent in how many messages, for example, in Messenger you send out every single day and you start going all in on promo day, you risk getting into jail quite fast and this might end up with you not being able to send out a single more message okay and that's the last thing you want would you agree on a promo day so and then what happened to me was okay i did send out the messages i was all excitement i was so over the moon with the cool stuff that the company put together um but people weren't getting it and i wasn't getting answers and i felt like i was being ignored and then I would start following up with them, right? And it kept me on my phone for a few days at least. And it was not effective. Drop me a heart if you can relate to that experience, okay? I hope you can, but if you can, let's change it, okay? Let's do this, let's jump into this. Start a form of permission marketing two weeks or one week before the promo day, okay? Permission marketing, what do I mean by that? Well. If we just blast out our messages or blast out our emails to everybody, we can never know whether people are actually going to appreciate it and many consider it and feel like they're being spammed, right? And that's not, again, a pleasurable experience, is it? However, if we ask permission, would you like to know more about the awesome promo that's coming up and people say, yes, please, I would love to have that, you're going to get very different results and people are going to be mm, thankful for you and your updates. Okay. 
how would that change your business and how you feel about doing what you do? Drop it down below. How would that make you feel? Okay, so here's the thing. I would recommend you start permission marketing two weeks prior to the promo date. Okay, even if you do not know the promo yet. Okay, you don't have to wait for that. You know there is going to be one, right? So you can trust on that. And now you want to start qualifying your prospects by creating a VIP list. Okay, so make it, call it something special so people want on the list. Okay, now you might do a personal reach out. Okay, so people you've been talking to, people you know, um, who are, you know, potentially prospects or who are potential prospects for what the promo is going to be about. You might send them, and I've written something down. This is a script. I don't like scripts very much because I feel that it makes us lazy. Um, uh, some people actually go like literally copy and paste it. I would never do that. I would really recommend that you take what I'm going to be sharing with you and make it your own, how you speak to people. Okay. Because people can smell if it's yours or not. So here's the thing. This a little bit of a script. Okay. Hey, use their first name. Hey, Karen. Hey, Mary. Hey, Jane. Hope you're doing awesome. Every year we have an amazing promo coming up for Black Friday, for Christmas, for Mother's Day, for whatever might be coming up. I'm so excited. And again, it's going to be crazy that day. And I want to, um, you know, be ahead of everything a little bit this year. So um, would you like to be on my exclusive VIP list? Because the people on there are going to be the first to know what the promo actually is going to be. I'm going to tell you all about the awesome deals first. And typically the promo sells out fast if it does. Or um, it might sell out fast, okay, if you're not sure. Okay, just wanted to give you the chance to be in the know about it and make sure you can benefit from the offers. Would you like to be on my VIP list? You ask a question and you will get an answer, okay? And depending on what the answer is, the person goes on your VIP list or doesn't. So come promo day, you know who to reach out to. And this person is going to appreciate you because you kept your promise. You informed her, um, you know, as soon as you knew about the promo, about the promo so they can benefit from it. Okay. And they don't miss out. Make sense. Okay. Another version, I mean, you, yes, you can send out so many messages, right? But you could also use your social media content um, for people, you know, for a chance to raise their hand. Yes, I want to be on that VIP list. What might that look like? Well, you could do it in a live video like I'm doing right now. You could do a call to action. You can do that video inside your VIP group. Maybe you already have such a thing, right, for your customers or for potential um, customers, right? That's a good place to do that in. Um, do a curiosity post in your VIP group. I would not necessarily do it um, on your personal profile, but you could choose to see and, and test things out how it works for you. Where I would definitely talk about it and give people uh, the option, you know, to join your VIP list or be in your stories, okay? Talk about the excitement that you feel, about the amazing promo that's coming up, something maybe that you think might be in the promo. Wouldn't that be cool? And then you give them a poll where they can either say yes or amazing yes, uh, please. Don't give them the option yes, no, okay? Because you don't want no. No doesn't help you build your business, okay? So come promo day, you have your VIP list. And that might be in email, that might be in Messenger, whatever works for you, and also depending where you're at in your journey, okay? Um, but it's um, so here's one thing that I would strongly recommend you you don't do on promo day. Don't do the, you know, the, the bundle promo picture on your personal profile. Nobody wants to see that. OK, you can do that in your VIP group. You can do that in your message, in your email. OK, set up an email campaign for your VIP list. OK, ready to go. So come promo day, you get up in the morning, you find out what the promo is. You enter that into your email that you've already prepared and you hit go and send and it's gone. Okay. And you can live a peaceful day, enjoy Black Friday shopping yourself, for example. Right. And you will get way better results because people wanted to be on that VIP list. They got excited with you and now they can, they want to take the next step. Right. So what you might put in a message, say it's in messenger. Okay. You're not, you're not, you don't have an email responder. It's okay. Autoresponder. It's okay. Right. You could send out messages. Hey Jane, what can I get you? Hey Mary, how can I help you um, get your order in? Okay. And I would only offer that for promo days and launch days because what can happen, I've seen that happen in my previous company quite a bit was that the website got, you know, went down on promo day. 
<laughs> and here's what you don't want to happen to uh, maybe a first customer or to somebody who hasn't ordered in some in some time you don't want them to have the experience oh the link isn't working or some on the website isn't working oh well it's not for me then they will never come back by themselves right so you want to be the person to help them and obviously you can't do that for your entire team so you want to teach the team the strategy okay so use this video let's take a look at it on team training hey say hi everybody I'm excited to be with you right um, again right you don't want your potential customers to have a negative experience on your website makes sense okay now as I say set up a broadcast an email or a messenger if you can for those who say yes maybe you only have 10 who said yes well so be it you know how to focus on these 10 people instead of sending a message out to everybody you're friends with right how effective is that going to be isn't it a more effective use of your time um, to talk to these 10 people and really help them get started and you can teach your team to do that okay imagine the leverage that's going to create on your team okay um, so I want you to rock your promotion and I want you to rock it on social media um, I have an amazing rank advanced resource that can help you do exactly that okay so drop rank advanced down below and I'm also going to put in the link um, for you to check out okay because my friend it is time for you to bloom now go use what you've learned put it into action and rock your black friday promo all the best from katrine thank you